Excellency, the Deputy President, has inexplicably amassed a humongous, you know, these are very strong ones, property portfolio estimated at 5.2 billion. So my question is, uh, uh, this is within two years. I know for a fact that before an election, any eligible candidate, Kiriazi himself or herself with the IBC before contesting. Therefore, for comparative analysis, do you have His Excellency the Deep Deputy President's uh, uh, property or worth during the 2022, before the 2022 elections, so that now we can be able, as a jury, can be able to compare and see whether for two years, for sure, he has been able to amass this wealth. Number two, there is this property in Meru. Uh, many Meru, Meru uh, guys have called me to the last night asking me whether there is evidence to show that this land is in, uh, in Meru. The last one is with, to the councils of the deputy president. Uh, there was a clip which was played here yesterday when the deputy president made a press conference in Mombasa, immediately after the president did this in Nairobi, two different cities. Therefore, I did not get clarity from the councils about this, uh, the, the question or the clip. So I was really requesting that one of them could be able to expound on that co controversy between the two pressers in two different cities by the two, the principal and the deputy principal of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you. Senator Okoit Omtata. Okay, thank you, Honorable Speaker. I have a, a question for the Honorable Mtuse. Uh, to, whose, to whom does this motion belong? Because in most of your answers, you keep on saying we. I think Honorable Senator Mtata, that question was uh, asked by the Honorable Enokwambua, Senator. And okay. it was responded to. So just uh, ask for a different uh, clarification. Okay, and uh, other than that, I wanted to ask whether Honorable Mutuze knows the difference between an impeachment motion and a censor motion. And if he does, where does he place his motion? Is it a censor motion or is it an impeachment motion? And what are the thresholds for each of those two motions? If he understands the difference. Thank you. Senator Chute. Sana Mwishimwa Speaker, Mwishimwa Mutuse, ulileta ushaidi hapa mbele ya Senate, ukidai ya kuwa, Deputy President hako na 5.2 billion, <coughs> weni wakili, na bila unawangea jana, unawonekana wakili kwa wakili shupavu, ulileta ushaidi gani hapa, ya kuonyesha valuation, ya hii property, ya hiyo, ya hiyo, katika documents yako, kwenyesha imefika 5.2 billion. Swali ya pili, ulileta mashtaka kumi na moja. Bile unasimama huko leo, unaona ibu kidogo kwa mba ulilete porojo mingi na mambo mingi kama ukio wakili ujafikiria vizuri. Sabu watu ya marsa beto nanuliza, hiyo mutu kweli ni wakili, Ama ni mutu wa mekombolewa kutoka huko. Ebu jibu yo swali. Tepatali. Senator Beth Siengo. Now, honorable senators, we are going to conduct ourselves in decorum. We are not in any way going to demean the witnesses. Ask your question, but stick to the rules of this house. Senator Beth Siengo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this chance. I have two questions. One for um, Honorable Mutuse. Uh, in your presentation, I heard that um, you touched on the in inheritance and property of the late the Ritunga Chagua. Have you reached out to the widow and the children of the late Gachagua to also give you facts? The next question is uh, to the 
counsel for the DP. Yesterday you played a clip of the president speaking in Muranga. What was the purpose of playing that clip? And how does it relate to the saying popularly now used by Kenyans, Kufa Dereva, Kufa Makanga? Thank you. Senator Chimera. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question goes to the counsel for the DP. On the, I would wish to seek clarity on the documents of the table uh, yesterday being the coalition agreement, which basically informed uh, the basis as to which the DP has been talking about chairs. I just want to know whether there is any document that secures shares in respect of the region where the DP comes from. And secondly, Mr. Speaker, if the council is aware that his client, at the time those documents were being prepared, he was a candidate for office, and now he successfully became DP, and that he needs to promote national unity, and if it is still in order for him to continue championing for the interest of one region, as against the entire nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Richard Onyong. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.